Estimation of a Population Proportion. In a survey of 2,000 adults, it was found that 79% had errors in their credit reports. Construct a 90% confidence interval for the proportion of all adults in the United States whose credit reports contain errors. Well, what do we know? We know very little about the population parameters. That is, the number of people in the United States who have uh, credit report errors. We don't know that but we know that the uh, population in the United States, N, is large. We certainly don't know the proportion of people who have uh, errors in their credit reports. So we, we do take a, a sample of 2,000, and we know just about everything about the sample. That is, we know that the number of people in our sample uh, is total is 2,000, that's N, and that the, uh, the number of people who have uh, errors in their credit reports is 1,580, right, 79 0.79 times um, 2,000, uh, <clears throat> and uh, we know the proportion of people, 0.79, who have errors, and the proportion of people who don't have errors, 21.21 or 21 percent. So we have, uh, from our sample, 79 percent of the people have uh, errors in their credit reports, and 21 percent do not. Uh, does the central limit theorem apply in this case for this sample? Let's see. We'll see if it holds. Oh, it went too far. I gave their answer away there. NP is approximately N times P hat, which is 1,550, 1,550, which is certainly greater than 5. And NQ, which is approximately NQ hat, is 420. So that's greater than 5. Okay. So this is the uh, criteria we need for uh, the central limit to apply. So the central limit theorem applies. Okay. Uh, what does that really mean for us, though? Well, here's what it means for proportions, that if we took millions and millions of samples of size 2,000 and looked at the proportion of people with errors in their credit reports, then these uh, p hats would form a nice normal curve. And the mean of the p hats would equal the proportion, the true proportion of the population uh, that has error, errors in their credit reports. Also, the standard deviation of p hat, uh, sigma sub p hat, okay, uh, equals the square root of p q over n, which is approximately p hat q hat, square root of p hat q hat over n, okay, which is almost 1%, 0.009108. So, Here's our situation. We have our sampling distribution, as it's called, of, of uh, all possible p hats here in a normal curve. Ninety percent of the time, um, our, our p hat, the one that we got, the, our, the sample that we took, 0.79, will land somewhere between here and here. Now, it doesn't have to land right here. It could land over here anywhere. But ninety percent of the time, okay, it'll be trapped in this interval with the real proportion. And we'll finish this uh, problem up in the second video on estimation.